This is Martin Carla with Safe RSA from Pico CTF 2018. Now that you know about RSA, can you help us decrypt the ciphertext? We don't have the decryption key, but something about those values looks funky. All right, well, here are the values. We have N, N looks pretty big. E is three, that's, that's a little suspicious. Normally, E is 65,537. And we have the ciphertext. The ciphertext also looks I mean, big, but pretty small compared to n. And so that's where the, the key to solving this problem is. Because e is 3, we're going to be able to take the cube root of this really big number. Now, we can't just do that in our normal calculator. But if we take the cube root of this really big number, we may be lucky and get the plain text. So I've looked here on the internet. I googled for how to compute the nth root of a number in Python. I found this nice thing on Stack Overflow. And so what this is going to do is it's going to find the integer component of, in our case, the third root of x, or the cube root. So what it does is it keeps doubling a number until that number cubed is bigger than x. That's the high bound. The low bound will be half of that. And then until those numbers match, it figures out is the number at the middle of that range cubed bigger than x, smaller than x, or equal to x? And so then it keeps cutting the range in half, either moving the low to the midpoint, moving the high to the midpoint, or if you found it, then it returns the midpoint exactly. And it does this until it finds the correct cube root. So. I've got that here in Python. I just copied this program and I'm going to compute the cube root of that really large number, right? So the ciphertext. And then I'm going to print that. I'll print it in hex. And then I'm going to convert that hex into an ASCII string. So here was the cube root. Here's what it is in hex. I take away the 0x at the beginning and that L at the end. And then I convert that from hex into ASCII. And I get my key, Pico CTF. E is way too small. And there we go.